you this midday some great news if you use public transportation indigo has implemented the first of its route improvements it's just one major part of the transit plan that stretches all across a large part of the county rtv 6s elena martella joins us from the live desk with a look at how this could impact you elena yeah, Lauren, the Marion County Transit Plan has a goal to increase service by 70%, which means less waiting, better night and weekend frequency, easier transfers, and three rapid lines. So here's what's new beginning just yesterday. Included in the first wave of improvements are 250 added trips on routes 3, 8, 10, 39, and 87, nearly doubling weekend service for routes 8 and 39, and adding a Sunday service on route 87. Now you can search this story on our RTV6 app for a full rundown of changes on these routes, but do note that the complete plan will be executed over the next five years with various phases, including the red lines opening in 2019. And for those who want to learn more about the Indy Red Line project, there's a public meeting tonight that will discuss plans and construction schedules. That's at 6 o'clock at Short Ridge High School. Another major project will be talked about at 5 o'clock tonight. This one, Indot's Bridge Preservation Project that will close I-65 between Marine Meridian Street and 21st Street for over a month this spring. Now this meeting is happening at INDOT's Indianapolis sub-district building on Brookville Road. From Live Desk, Elena Martella, RTV6. Elena, thank you. We'll